Good morning, everyone. I think we can start now. Whoever wanted to come, I think, is already here. So today I wanted to talk with you about something totally different. It's your career, your future. I imagine if you are here, you're interested in augmented reality and you consider that this can be your path in your life. I wanted to tell you a few things about your career. There are many, many different predictions. Uh, I, I made a little research online uh, what is happening with the AR market now. And uh, it's, it's a huge range because it's very difficult really to predict how the market will grow because it depends on the technology, it depends on the hardware. For example, if the AR glasses will become cheaper, it will be much bigger growth. But generally, I found like two statistics uh, which are showing similar numbers for you. So this one is from Statista. This is like the most commonly cited. And it's talking about the growth to more than 200 billion till 2022. There is a second one, Consultancy UK, which is uh, nice because it divides VR and AR. So what's interesting here, you can see the growth of the uh, VR market, it's around 40%, and the growth of uh, AR market, it's predicted like around 80%. So generally, the mixed reality market is growing. They are both growing, so VR and AR, but the ratio is like 40 to 1 of the growth of um, AR market. So as you can see, it's, it's a huge potential if you want to invest you know, consider AR. It, it seems like a good uh, market to come. So if the market, so this is prediction for year 2000, to 2022. So in a few years, there will be a huge market and there are not enough specialists in the field. So there's a huge gap in the market for the employers to find the specialists to work in this market. So ooh, that's a place for you maybe. What are kind of jobs? So as you can imagine, most of the jobs, of course, are for developers, but developers, they don't work themselves. They also work with uh, software designers, 3D artists. They also worked with um, engineers who are designing and creating the hardware for um, the apps to work. They also need um, the engineers to test the software and so whatever doesn't work, it has to go back to developers and make sure that all the bugs are gone and the apps are working. Another big, really big uh, branch is project management because there's also a need for people who know the technology and they, they have all the background, but they also can oversee the project, take care of all the team, make sure that all those people work together to design and deliver the project. Second huge branch also, which is really important, is marketing, sales, distribution, because those are people who are taking the products and bringing it to the hands or on the heads of the uh, customers. So as you can see, there's a lot of jobs. So you don't have to limit yourself to just doing one simple developing, let's say. You can consider different career paths. So as you could see, the market is huge. The, the biggest employers are, of course, big companies like Google, Apple, and so on. Um, but they are, um, like all those big companies, they are mostly in states, mostly in um, California or East um, Coast. But there is also a really big number of small companies everywhere designing the startups also, designing new solutions, which they also need um, people to work and you can find them everywhere. And the best way to find all those little companies locally is to attend um, local groups who are interested in the topic because they know the people and they know what's going on in the field right now in the place where you live. Here it's a little bit messy, it looks. It's um, 2017, so it's already a little bit old, but I really like it because it really shows you everything of the market. It shows you infrastructure. So you can see that the, there is a market for devices, components. It shows companies that are working, designing tools. So distribution SDKs and 3D solutions. And um, there are also applications, so games, consumers, enterprise, healthcare, education. You can have a little look. You can see like yeah, Microsoft, basically you can see everywhere. You can see, yeah. Magic Leap here, Magic Leap there. 
you can see in the consumer that's that's more spread. But like all this, those solutions, that those are like all those big players that are worth considering. Here I have a few examples. I just took it from the page Daria. It's like a community interested in AR, and it was just recommended by a colleague. Here you have a few examples of how AR is really used, like the, in the manufacturing in the industry. So it, uh, it can be used in the healthcare for um, doctors, for dentists to make the checks. A very big market is in the training, because that's, that's a huge area where um, the decision-making process can be really made much more simpler using AR. Marketing is a huge, another domain that you bring the product to the client and cli client can try it on just using AR application. Emergency, that's important uh, domain because when you have to make the decisions very fast and it's very uncommon situation, application like AR can help you. A few more examples. So those three, they are all from like buildings and manufacturing where the builders basically told what to do so it makes the, their life very simple. What's interesting also, it's like flight visual, visualization, so it's, it's like navigation for pilots, so pilots can see the path of the plane. And also situations like, for example, for cabin crew, when they need their hands, they, it's, it's much easier if they can have a device that tells them what to do, but at the same time they can keep working. I have a first, first exercise for you. First step, if you're thinking about your career, is to know yourself very well, like you know what are your strong sides, what you can do very well, what you're interested in, and what's worth investing. This is, again, this is not the original version of the test, it's just a test that you can find in the internet. So it's not perfectly correct, but um, you can find also more tests like that. And then you have like longer, more questions, and then you can get to know yourself a little bit better. And it's really good to know, to spend a little bit of time trying to do that, because then you can think like what's, what's who you are and how you can yeah, use your skills, use your talents. I continue with exercises. So you've been learning for AR, so I think you should know more or less what are the skills that are needed for AR specialists. So now I will ask uh, each person to get like three post-its and write like three skills that you think that uh, AR specialists need. So think about three skills needed for AR specialists. Once you note it down, we can maybe use this space, try to put it on the board, but each person tries, like we will try to make some kind of map just to see if you see something already similar, try to put it together. We stay in the topic of skills. Another exercise for you, because it's your career, and I can talk like that forever, but it doesn't matter for you because it's what you want to do. Next exercise is uh, go to one of the um, job searching uh, pages, find two, three job <coughs> offers, and see which skills they are asking for. And we'll see if they are similar what you're expecting or if it's something different. We are also interested in how many job offers are currently available in different regions. You are probably also curious about that. So we suggest that you share with us and all students how many job offers in total you receive when searching for the keyword augmented reality in your region. If you share your results in this simple form, you will also see the responses of other students around the world. The form has only two fields, linked to the job portal and the number of results. So you have just like five minutes to do it, 
our colleagues in the project, they have done that with hundreds of uh, job offers around the globe, and they have extracted 10 categories of skills. There were 13, but three went, uh, were very general. So 10 um, categories of skills were chosen, like extracted out of all those job offers, and you can see them here. They are not in the um, order. So uh, AR skills, development skills, platform specific, uh, programming, advanced computing, computer vision, computer graphics, data analysis, uh, AI, audio, um, human computer, um, and um, hardware skills. So what we have done in the project, we have taken those categories of the skills that we, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that our colleagues uh, have extracted, and we validated them with the industry, with people who are hiring AR specialists. So uh, the colleagues, they created the survey. If you click on this link, you will go to the survey. It's, it's a whole survey, it's a long one. So I made like a shortcut for you at the bottom. You can go to the Google form and it's, uh, th that's the part just about skills. So you can go now and see where are you on this matrix of skills. So you can compare what skills you have and see, we will see them like in comparison to what industry is thinking they need. Here what we have is that's the result of the survey, the, the first link that was sent to the people in the industry. So people who are hiring, people who really work with AR. And you can see how they uh, were valuing different skills. These are those 10 main categories. So when you were clicking, uh, you had 10 categories and then each category had subcategories. So what was interesting for us, it was like, um, if you look at the scale here, it's uh, the, the darkest color is strongly agree, the lightest is uh, disagree. So uh, uh, you can see that almost every skill was valued, like minimum 50%, like almost 50% was strongly agree or agree, the only skills that were not appreciated really, these were the sound, audio skills. So if you go back to your form, you can see yourself, which skills do you have, and you can position yourself at this <coughs> matrix and see what is valued in the industry, what people in the um, job market are asking for when they are recruiting, and see if you have those skills, if you are missing some skills, if you think you can get those skills that are really important. If you go to this link, you will see the reports showing all the data, all the numbers. It's, it's really interesting read, but keep it for long winter evening. Uh, out of, so the previous uh, graph showed you 10 main groups of skills. Out of all 66 skills, we made um, uh, this graph showing which exact skills are valued the most. So you can see that basically everyone believed that um, AR SDKs are really important. You can see also the numbers. Basically, it's, it's, it's not a big spread of numbers. So everyone were almost clicking like SDKs are important, smart glasses are important, all the those technical skills with Unity and uh, design are important. Computer vision, AI, also user-centered uh, design. So how, if you're considering, you're here, I guess you're considering your career in AR, you're thinking how can you get a, a job that you like. So first thing that you can do is to learn all the technology, like what we were doing here this week. So for example, learn Unity. Uh, join groups are, that are working locally. So net, little networking, they know what's going on in the local market. They know what's, uh, what's new. They, uh, you can exchange your knowledge. You can get some new knowledge. Whenever you come across any new product, just try it test it, see how it works, if it's good, if it doesn't, 
whatever um, yeah you see what you like about it what you don't and then you have to basically just work on it build something yourself that's the best way to learn so the more you practice the better you get try to build a project yourself try to build few projects so whenever you you reach to the job market you have something to show Companies, they are looking for people who are really outgoing. They are passionate about the AR. They are passionate about the technology. And even you've seen all those skills, even if you don't have all those skills, if you're passionate, companies will be more interested in hiring you because you can learn some more skills. Think about taking risks. So if you don't know something, still try, try new technology all the time. Try to see what's, what can be done. Consider taking non-developer jobs because then you can see the process of creating an app from a different angle. So if, yeah, if you're a programmer, maybe try something different. Maybe try also think about cross-training. So for example, 3D uh, modeling. If, if you know that, maybe try also to learn animations. Build your own portfolio, and then whenever you meet an employer, just you can have like a one best example that you can show. Try to find people around you, because whenever you don't know something, you can just, uh, if you have a network of people who are in the experts in the topic, you can try to find solutions for your problems. And try to stay always up to date. So join all the communities at the social media, go for conferences, webinars, hackathons, game chance. This way you will always know what's new in the market. So that's the last uh, exercise today. So yeah, what's important is whenever you see job uh, offer, like you have done half an hour before, they ask for certain skills. Always try to make your CV to fit into that skills. So don't just send your CV for whichever offer, whatever you have. Try to make it so it fits to the job offer. So what's the most important sometimes is like employers, they will look just like for a second on your CV. And there is always like a little ent entry section. So it's like a profile. So just like one sentence that you can say something about yourself. It's quite free. So if you see a job offer, try to just adjust that and see if it works. So if you go back now to the job offers that you searched and try to see one job offer and try to build like one sentence, one opening sentence that would fit to this job offer. What you've seen today, you've seen the skills that are needed at the market. You've seen the skills uh, at the job offers. You've seen how people in the industry value those skills. You could see yourself back at home when you have time. Go back to this matrix of the skills. You can see what skills do you have and what skills would you like to further develop. Good luck with your career. All the best. Thank you very much.